book is a big book. It gives us the instructions of righteousness. Come on. Isaiah chapter 5 verse 11. Come on. Woe unto them that rise up early in the morning. See that it's too early in the morning to be drinking. Now, get me wrong. We all drink. I drink. But we don't drink early in the morning. We drink later on after we done did our business throughout the day. You know, you know, worked all day. You want to come home and crack a beer? Nothing wrong with that. Ain't no sin in that. Read that again, though. Woe unto them that rise up early in the morning. But there's always that one crew that likes to drink up early. That likes to drink early in the morning. You understand that? You gotta be careful of that. Come on. That they may follow strong drinks. So, brother, brother, when you see yourself on the sign. So, what are we out here teaching? We out here teaching you blacks and Hispanics. We are the Israelites the Bible speaks of. That's right. You understand that? <coughs> brother and sister, that's who we are. All right, bro. What's your name? My brother right here with the with the black hat on. So, why are you looking at the sign? And so you're going to give me your, my, uh, your name. I'm going to show you what the laws of God say. Come on. Isaiah chapter 5 verse 11. Uh-huh. Woe unto them that rise up early in the morning. Read. That they may follow strong drink. You see that? Don't do that. Don't rise up early. We can follow strong drink. Strong drink today is beer, liquor. You understand that sister according to the Bible with the Israelites. Read. That continue until night. You see that? You're going to keep drinking all day until it's night. You're messing your liver up. Come on. Till wine inflame them. See that till you get drunk. Give me First Corinthians 3, uh, 15. You know what I want. First Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. Come on. Know ye, know ye not that ye are the temple of God. Don't you know that you're the temple of God? You was made in the image and the likeness of God. You understand that? Hold that Genesis 1, 26. Don't drop it, but hold that Genesis 1, 20. I'm going to show you that. You are the temple of God. You was made in the image of God, bro. And God gave us his intellect. Because the other nations, yeah, they was made after Adam. But they wasn't given Adam's intelligence. That God gave an intelligence, he gave that to us. That's why we get judged so hard. Read what you got. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. Come on. And God said, let us make man in our image. When, my, when God made you, he made you in his image. When he made us as a people, he made us as his image. The Israelites. Come on. After our likeness. After our likeness. Meaning, woolly hair, ten fingers, ten toes, one nose, dark skin. You understand that? With a beard on our face. He made us in his image. Black. Come on. And black. black. How could I forget that? That's right. And he made us black. That's right. A lot of you West Indians and you women, y'all like to uh, bleach your skin. Ble bleach up your skin. Why are you bleaching your skin for when God made you black? That's because we hate ourselves. Why we put on wigs? Uh, why do women put on wigs and weaves in their hair when God made you a certain way? All right. So you got? What's, what's, y'all got any questions? What's your question, bro? Huh? The, the perception. Oh, what is the position of women? Give me that in First Corinthians eleven and three. All right. First Corinthians. Come on up. Chapter eleven, verse three. So I'm answering this question, then I'm, I'll get to you in a second. Come on. But I'll have you know that the head of every man is Christ. See that the head of every man is Christ. The Son of God, the black Messiah. You got God the Father, God the Son, and then the guys on the earth. That's you and me. Read. And the head of the woman. And the head of the woman, her position is what? Is the man. You see that it's, it's her husband. It's her father. It's her elder. You understand that? Because who protects little girls? Who? Well, what, what particular man? We, but we're dealing with man. You say, who's the, what's the position? You, you see, who protects little girls? They fathers. Right? Once little girls get of age and they get married, who protects them from there? The husband. So the man. It's God the Father, God the Son, the Israelite man, and then the woman. And then after that, read. And the head of the woman is the man. You see that? And the head of the woman is the man. You understand that? The way by, the man by natural order by God's given order is the protector is the provider you understand that before let me answer this question first Timothy 5 and 8 first because Tim even though he was raised like that God didn't intend it to be like that you understand that at all period well it was God's will that we get destroyed because of our sins but in Genesis 1 and 1 in Genesis chapter 1 and chapter 2 when he made man he made a family structure a husband, wife. Women cannot produce without the husband. You understand that? They need a husband. 
the wife, uh, the husband needs a wife, the wife needs a husband. That's how they create children. You understand me? But your situation, it's not supposed to be like that. God never intended it to be like that. But due to our sins, that's what happened. So we not, I'm not saying that what you're saying is wrong. I'm saying that according to God, it's not how it was supposed to be. Go ahead. First Timothy chapter 5 verse 8. Uh -huh. But if any provide not for his own. See that? You say your father was never in your, in your life, right? Was he dead? So he got a good job. Uh, hey, so that resentment. Yeah. Right. No problem though. But now that when you start your family, you don't be like that. Yeah. But don't don't treat them the way you was treated. You understand me? Exactly. You gotta break that cycle. Understand that? So God said what? Read that again. But if any provide not for his own. Yeah, if anybody provide not for his own, because he got a good job in Indiana, but he not providing for his son out here in Chicago. Not supposed to be like that. Read. Especially for those of his own house. Uh -huh. Especially for those of his own house. Your own is your own nation. Your own people. Your own community. Your own house is the children that your wife makes. The children that your woman makes. You got to provide for that child. So I understand what you're saying. Yes, a woman could do it because obviously you're an example. You're here. But that's not how God intended it to be. God didn't intend for your father to be like, I don't want nothing to do with my own son. What if God did that with him? So now, I'm going to answer this brother's question because he said, what's the difference between the white Israelis and us, right? We are the Israelites. I don't speak Hebrew. The difference? We don't speak Hebrew. Now, show them that in uh, Revelation 2 and 9. The white folks, the Caucasian race, the Edomite race, the Amalekite race that's in Israel today, those are not the real Jews. That's right. You, 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 us, we are the real Jews. Right. We are the biblical Israelites. And if we can prove everything we're saying. I'm going to show you that. Come on. Revelation chapter 2 verse 9. Uh -huh. I know thy works. Christ said he know our works. Read. And tribulation. And he know the troubles that we went through here in, in the lands of our captivity. Through the civil rights era. Through the lynching era. Through the Ku Klux Klan era. Right in front of you. And to go through what we're going through right now. Come on. And poverty. Uh huh. But listen. No, no, no. This is the Jewish mean. I S H means pertaining to. That's right. Not the real thing. They are pertaining to the Jews. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand it? Hey, you know what it is? At the end of the day, the blacks are the real Jews. That's right. All the real Jews. The people over there. We not ish. Ish means to pretend, to undesirable, like like we grown men. If somebody says you acting childish, are you a child? No. no, you ain't a child. Right. They say you acting like a child. Ish, they acting like right. us. That's right. We are the chosen people of God. Yes, right. We got our lineage yes, taken from us because we kept breaking God's laws. Right. Like like you, Bobby, you got kids? So if your kids break your laws or your rules, what you gonna do? You gonna burn them, right? That's what happened to us. You see? You see what the other one at? What other son? What the cage in here? Hey, listen. We got punished as a people. Get that with something. We got punished as a people. But that's what's happening to us now. That's what he reading about now. The curses were happening to us. The people over there, look what he said, read. I know that works. And tribulation. And poverty. You know our works. It, we label him for over 400 years without getting paid. The Lord said he know our works, yeah. He know our tribulation. He know we poor as the people. Go ahead. But they are rich. You know why he said we rich? Because he gave promises to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right. For an everlasting kingdom. For immortality. The streets paid with gold. All that's for the Israelites. Right. It's not for the whole world. That's right. God is not. God is a separatist, believe it or not, y'all. God is a separatist. Just like right here. These people are separatists right in our face. Do they got Chinatown? Huh? Do they got Chinatown? Yes. Do they got a place where the arrows live? Yes. They got an area where the East Indians live? Yes. And they got a place where the damn uh, uh, Japanese live? Yes. But where we at? Where we at? They come in our neighborhoods and get our money. You understand? They are separatists, believe it or not. They put us in the so-called ghetto. That's right. But that's where we going into that we are the real people. He said, I know your works. I know your um, tribulation. I know your poverty. He said, but thou are rich. He said, we rich because we get, we get the kingdom. 
bring in the kingdom. The kingdom that they talk about in Matthew 6 and 9. Our Father which are in heaven. The kingdom come that will be. That's for us. That promise for us. That's right. Three. And I know the blasphemy. He said, I know the lies. The biblical lies of them which say they are Jews. Of them but say they are Jews. And are not. But he said they're not the Jews. You are the Jews. Do you call yourself a Jew? Who calling yourself a Jew now? The white people. The white people. He said, I know them that say they are Jews, and they're not. Go ahead. But are the synagogues of Satan. Who be in the synagogues? Who be in the synagogues? The white people. That's the right. white people. God telling you who they are. He said, but they are the synagogue of Satan. They're the synagogue of Satan. That's who they are. Them people over there have nothing to do with us. Yes, they stole your land. They stole your language. They stole your custom. They stole your high holy days. Right. We're supposed to be keeping Passover. We don't do that. We're supposed to be keeping Pentecost. We don't do that. Right. We're supposed to be keeping Tabernacle. We do it up here. We're learning how to do it now, but we don't do it as a nation. That's right. God gave it to us as a nation. Since we went away from that, he punished us. The blacks and Hispanics and Native American Indians, believe it or not, we are one family of people. Right here, right. we are one family of people. You know what I'm You know what happened? Divide and conquer. They said, nah, y'all ain't the same people. The Spanish, y'all, the, the word Hispanic means property of Spain. Who are we, we the property of? Huh? No, we own the property of Africa. We are the property of Europeans. That's why you speak English now. Right. Of England, we are the property. That's why we speak English. That's why they speak Spanish, because why? They was the property of Spain. Oh, this is right in front of our face, but you know what happened to us? That we not read it like we're supposed to. Read that again for him. Revelation chapter 2, verse 9. And I know thy works. He know our works here in our captivities. And tribulation. And he knows the troubles that we go through from the time of our enslavement even up until now. He knows our troubles, right? And poverty. And he knows our poverty because we are poor as hell. He's talking about the real Jews, the fake Jews, Israelis in Israel. They run the Diamond District in New York. They run the uh, uh, stock market in New York and the Chicago Exchange stock market. Right. And the media. And the media. They run Hollywood. They are filthy rich. So rich. How rich do you say? So rich that they went over there to the middle, the so-called Middle East, which is really Africa, and carved them out of land in 1948. That land today is known as Israel. That's who's bombing them people over there. Them same fake Jews that took our nationality. Read. But thou art rich. But God said that we are truly rich. Because all the promises, all the blessings, and all the wealth on this earth, even though they took it from us, they really belong to us. They just renting. We really are rich. You understand that? But God is, he's not giving us back our property until we get our minds right. Why would God give us all our wealth and we out here drinking liquor? Early in the morning, we getting drunk. We smoking. We out here selling our behind. We can't bang. We're doing all these foul things on the earth. And you want God to give us back the kingdom? He ain't going to do it just like that. We got to work for it. That's right. We got to get our minds right. We got to keep the commandments. Read. And I know the blasphemy. And he knows the blasphemy. Blasphemy is lies. He knows the blasphemy. But man, listen, listen. Come on. And I know the blasphemy of them. the blasphemy of them. That's that people he asked about. Come on. Which say they are Jews. They say they are Jews. We are the Yehudi. We Yehudis. We the real Jews. This our land. They, they say that they the real Jews. Read. And are not. And are what? And are not. So the people say that they the real Jews are not the Jews. The real Jews don't know that they the Jews. That's how I know that we are the people of the book. And it's a black race that God was talking to. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth